Hello everyone, artist Charles Wolf here, back again for another painting video. Today we're going to be doing my Tropical Coral Reef 2. Again, that's Tropical Reef 2. It's a very fun abstract to create, it has some really vibrant sort of neon colors. And today I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to recreate this painting. Now you can see my 12 by 12 inch canvas there has some color already on it. And that is a former painting. If you go and watch my water images painting, again that's water images you can see exactly how I created that background. I thought the painting was really cool and it turned out really well but I wanted to reuse some of my older canvases to create some nice abstracts and so having something already on the canvas doesn't hurt the acrylic paint and acrylic paint is pretty good at covering other acrylic paint so I'm going to reuse this canvas today. Starting out here with some ultramarine blue, it's a nice deep rich blue. I'm using a bright brush and the technique that is pervasive throughout this course of paintings, there's three of them I'm going to create for you on this channel. I've already done one, Tropical Coral Reef. I'm going to do another one after this painting. And the technique that I'm using today is one of short, brisk brush strokes. We're going to be pulling in a horizontal manner, quick moving of your wrist, just kind of flick the brush bristles left to right across the canvas and pulling kind of out and downwards. Here I'm bringing in some phthalo green around the ultramarine blue. I'm blending together slightly, but more mostly I'm just pulling the green into the blue and then moving on. I'm going to go over these sections again later on, and so we're going to blend them together better as we move through this process, but for now we're going to sort of layer them next to each other, the blue and then the green around. Again, that's phthalo green, very strong sort of sea green. Nice color, very much in the blue family of greens rather than more of a warmer sort of olive green. Here I'm just using my dirty brush and getting off some of that excess paint. Kind of a mixture between the two, the phthalo and the ultramarine blue. To get your paint to run nicely off your bristles, I recommend that you use a little bit of the matte liquid medium. Here I've taken my 3 inch chip brush and I'm putting in some of this matte liquid medium. It allows the paint to become a little more spread out, let you blend together the different colors very effectively. And most importantly, it allows the paint to kind of layer nicely on top of each other. It also gives you a really great glazed effect once you're finished, which is kind of nice. Okay back into my blue. Change my mind, I'm gonna put a little blue down, but I'm gonna go right into the green. Here's the aqua green with my bright brush. and bringing in this aqua very vibrantly here along that edge of the phthalo green. Quick horizontal brush strokes. Same technique as before. Keep your hand nice and relaxed while you're doing this as always and we're going to blend over the top of some of the other colors bringing it together a little bit more with its aqua green you can see that i'm letting the brushwork speak for itself i'm not trying to smear it out or obfuscate it in any way i want it to be clear and precise you can see each stroke individually and then when you step back from it, the effect is rather beautiful and lovely. We want these to be robust brush strokes. Let them be very visible, don't hide them. Back to my phthalo green, and then in the center there, I'm going to rediscover that ultramarine, bringing some more of the ultramarine in. You can see the way that it is blending partially here, and that is due to the use of the matte liquid medium. Bringing in some aqua green on the top right hand corner over here at the top. We're going to bring that down 
at a diagonal or following the line of the blue already on the canvas on that side. I'm sort of leaving the center alone. I'll deal with that at the end. I don't want to put too much blue there because I'm anticipating putting some yellow. You can kind of visualize ahead of time where you're going to put your hottest colors, those lightest colors. It is a good idea to leave them blank so that the blue doesn't hit them and turn them into a different color green. Okay, filling in with my aqua green here at the top left. It's okay if some of the canvas shows through, and in fact that will help create a, the feeling of sort of looking down through the waves, and the light flickering beneath and bouncing off of things. Here I'm bringing some of that aqua green into the blue that's already there, and then now I'm blending the two together. Same technique, quick horizontal brush strokes. And because I've added that medium, the two sort of layer onto each other rather than over blending together. Okay, and here's a mixture of the Thalo Green and the Ultra Marine Blue. I have a dirty brush there, just blending that together. Each abstract that I create, I often will start with a basic idea. I'll know I want to have a blue splotch over here and maybe a green section over there. But oftentimes I have to see it on the canvas before I start to know how it should take shape and unfold. And I'm often trying to have each color at some point connect with the border of the canvas. And that's a nice way of creating structure without being too specific when you first start and being malleable enough that you can adjust things how you like. Creeping into the center slowly with that aqua green, blending into the matte liquid medium that's on the canvas there. Nice intense color, that aqua green. I love that color so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Really captures the feeling of a tropical coral reef. As always, don't forget to paint the edges of your canvases. Okay, clean my brush off and now I'm into the lemon yellow. Nice light yellow. There might be a touch of the aqua on there. And although I'm being liberal with the application, it's going to become slowly more of a chartreuse color as we go along here. As we blend this out, a touch of that blue will catch it. And it starts to transform into a beautiful chartreuse green. Again, it's a nice, bright lemon yellow. I'm hoping that this green will translate well through the camera. This camera seems to have a bit of trouble catching the yellows correctly, although it seems to be catching it fine here. I know in my last painting video, I had a bit of trouble with that. Even if it doesn't catch the green perfectly, you'll get to see the uh, photograph at the end, which will have the colors pretty close to the original, pretty true. Back into the aqua green up here with my dirty brush. Quick little strokes. Some more of the yellow at the top left. Blending that around the top and on the side. Bringing that down here. The more I blend the yellow, the more it turns to green. Okay, back into the yellow in the center. A very nice, vibrant patch of coral. To be honest, I've actually never seen a tropical coral reef before, only in photographs and in film. So this is based on my imagination, I suppose, in a way. What's really cool about painting these is that if you do a set of them, like I am, three distinct 
tropical coral reefs, you can line up the dark parts, the dark edges, and create a nice triptych, a three-part painting, and you can hang them side by side on the wall, and you get a nice uh, larger piece that looks uniform because the colors are all the same, but you actually created each one individually. Of course, if I thought ahead, I could put all three up next to each other at the beginning and paint the whole thing at once. You can do that as well, but here I decided because I'm trying to use these as instructional videos, I would paint them one at a time. When I share the photo at the end of the next painting video, I'll be sure to show you all three side by side. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Facebook, and I'll go probably this next week or so and put that up. All you have to do is search for Impulsive Artistry, again, Impulsive Artistry on Facebook or on Twitter, and you can check that out. If you go to my Instagram right now, also Impulsive Artistry, I believe they're actually the triptych might already be up there. Check that out as well. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Each person who subscribes keeps me motivated to keep making new painting videos, and I appreciate each and every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much. Okay, bringing in a little more of that phthalo green down there in the bottom right corner. Playing that into the yellow. Back to the yellow. Gonna bring this down into the green. Maybe a little more green up here at the top. That looks nice. Just adds a little more variation to the composition. I really like how you can see each of those brush strokes. Looks great. Okay, back at it with the aqua green. Gonna bring that in here in a few spots. You can see how fast I'm moving my brush. I'm almost done with this piece. Just wanna break up some of this blue here. Add some more variation. Connect to the top up here on the top right. Bring that down. You can keep working on these for a very long time, so at a certain point you just have to stop and say that's good enough, that's the final piece. Just keep working with it until you like the way it looks. Okay, last time again with the lemon yellow, with my clean brush. Here's the final piece. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.